Well, you know what time it is. Time for another video. Let's just jump straight in. All right, everybody. So today's video is all about the Nullivan tribe build here. Now, the first episode was years and years and years ago, and I never really found the motivation to come back to it after I, I made the initial setup. Now, after like two years or something like that from the first episode, I actually updated a second episode, but it didn't really have much drive in that one, uh, if that makes any sense. It was, it was an episode that I felt obligated to do, but the heart wasn't really there. I just kind of made it, pumped it out, and was like, okay, maybe this will get me in the swing of things. Sadly, it did not. Now, since then, I've left this area pretty much alone until I really felt it was time to return and that time has finally come back around. Now, the Nullivan Tribal Area is a very, very unique area to this world, okay? Now, most of it is modeled after, like, the Native American structures and, and builds and things like that, uh, but it has a strong hint of fantasy elements at play as well. And they really blend together in what looks like a village built along the hills and mountains close to this ocean here. Now the huts are mainly circular and they boast very, very tall roofing made of thatch materials that are really perfect for insulation both in the winter and the summer months. Obviously during winter it keeps you warmer, during the summer it keeps the internal temperature, you know, like pretty good. It kind of like almost like deflects the heat. Now the flora in the area is, is really lush as well and, and it has different hues of green that speckle that landscape to create a beautiful mosaic of natural colors. Now there are going to be a few more episodes before this area is complete, and I truly believe the finished product is going to be a showstopper. Now I've been going over uh, a lot of research on how a group of people like the Nullivan would build in this type of environment. So I'm really going to be um, adding a few things because I've gained a lot of really good insight on how to move forward. So definitely keep an eye out for some smaller and more important you know, details here and there. It's really gonna help the build come alive. Now, of course, it's that time, just like always, if you're liking the content, you like these videos, or if you just find the channel kind of interesting because of the builds we do, please feel free and consider subscribing and liking and commenting, all that good jazz, because, you know, YouTube algorithm, all that wonderful stuff. But either way, um, that's pretty much that. Let's get on with the walkthrough. I'm really excited to show you. All right, everybody. So here we have the walkthrough video, and we are here in the Nullivan tribe. You can see here we're on the docks, this beautiful blue ocean salt water. Ah, we just jumped in on accident, had a little boat, nice little touch here, and this is the dock. Now, I'm just gonna give you a really quick walkthrough. This is a smaller area, but it's really, really cool nonetheless. Um, but here, once again, you know, we have this ocean, we have this really cool stuff coming out here. Right over here, we have a small little storage area next to the water really kind of blends in, you know, just, you know, maybe some things that came from the boats and stuff like that that need some fixings, just some material supplies, basic stuff like that. Then if we go up here, we're gonna get to the first hut. Now, right off here, you can see they're, you know, working on some clothes, doing some basic stuff. No big deal. It is what it is, but I think it looks pretty cool. Nice little stuff there. And then we're gonna go into the hut. Now, as you can see, all the huts are very similar to some of those older videos. Very, very simple. You know, we have a fish kind of warming up over the fire. Um, you know, we have a bed and just some living supplies. I mean, you know, most of these huts are very simple. They're supposed to be. They're not supposed to be anything crazy. They're not supposed to be anything too wild. But this looks really good in my opinion. It's small, it's compact, and it just kind of works. Now, if we go through here, once again, the dock, we're going to go up this path. And just look at all this green nice goodness like it just looks really good we have some hues, you know some small hues of like orangey red some purple as well just tiny little bits here and there but i love the way this path kind of winds up the hillside here what we'll do is we'll take a right and here we have a um a kiln essentially uh for creating charcoal Really cool touch here. Uh, one of the built-in uh, Rahamze, he actually made this design a long time ago, and I, we didn't really have too many places to put it, but it looks really good here. And I love that it kind of ties into the same theme as this uh, tribe, so it just really works. What we'll do, then we'll go up here, and this is where the original one ended. This is very similar to how it was in that first, like, 
the first second episode um we had like some fodder manure here and then of course you know we have some more supplies and everything kind of tucked away here oh look at those look, look so cool uh we'll go up the path and we'll just cut across here now down here is is leading to the next area um you could tell here that um this area is a little cluttered you know i think it looks pretty good um, and then once again, it just kind of kind of blends out into nothing because that will be part of the third episode. But once again, we have, we got to have our clutter, we got to have our landscape, all that kind of stuff to really tie through. The walls are kind of broken down, beaten up over time. That salt water would erode that rock after a while, so I wanted to add that detail in there. Here we have two small houses, and you have like the little farm area, um, and then you have, uh, back here, just a little, m not much of anything, right? I mean, I'm working with a little limited space, but I kind of wanted it to stay this way. And I think, I think it still looks really good. Um, going into this house, you got a duck a little bit and you know, they just, it, it's simple. And like I said, they're, they, but they all look really cool. I think, you know, we have lots of decorations. Uh, this smoke is going all the way out. We have the bed, you know, we have some carpet. If you want to wrap up almost like blankets in a way. Um, but yeah, lots of detail in here. Close the good stuff in the middle. And then over here, same thing. This fire is not actively going. The embers are burning down. But we have some small storage areas, some supports for the thatch. And then three very cramped beds in this house. Once again, like I said, it's it's uh, it's not the most comfortable living. But it's what they know and they're used to it. And it's totally okay. Now what we'll do is we'll go up this path to the last little bit here. You see we added some nice trees uh really kind of helped the landscape come alive it, it really actually helps a good bit it's amazing what some trees and some shrubberies and vegetation can do for your builds um here we have the bigger house we have a small garden right here in the back just for some small bits and then it goes into the path here um that leads to the main road into the village and then we'll go into this big house and once again here this has two nice big beds. Um, they're cooking some fish, tons of supplies, tons of stuff all around here. And yeah, that's that's pretty much that. I mean, I, I really love the way that this came out. I think it looks so cool. And it just kind of works. You know, the Nullivan Tribe is, once again, a very unique build. And I really want to do it justice. So I'm really working hard on making this area come to life. Because you look at the original, and then you look at this, and it's totally different. But, you know, uh, th this will get remade eventually. But as always, here is a flyover. I think it looks great. Like I said, we have lots of wear and tear here on the stone. Um, it's discolored in certain areas. All that kind of stuff just really to add to that immersive effect. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much that. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know this was kind of a shorter episode, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Anyways, be on the lookout for episode 3 and more things to come. So, this is Legendary Purpose signing off. Have a good day, happy gaming, and I'll catch you again for the next one.